former transport minister S. Iswaran has returned to Singapore and surrendered his passport to the authorities, said an Attorney General's Chambers AGC spokesperson on Wednesday, March 20. The former transport minister, who is out on bail, had been required to return to Singapore by March 19. A criminal case disclosure conference CCDC had been fixed for the morning of March 19 in the High Court. But this has been adjourned to April 2, the AGC spokesperson said. A CCDC is a formal system where both sides disclose information about the case, including outlining their cases and the evidence they will be relying on to facilitate the trial process. A spokesperson from the judiciary confirmed with CNA that the CCDC on March 19 did not take place. Iswaran, who faces more than 20 charges, including two of corruption, was initially granted permission to be out of Singapore between February 16 and March 4. He travelled to Australia during this time to help his son settle into university. However, the former minister fell ill during his trip and was on March 4 given permission to remain outside Singapore for an additional 16 days. Under the terms of the extension, Iswaran had to report to an investigation officer daily via video call. Additional bail conditions had to be met when Iswaran made his initial application on February 8 to travel to Australia. These include an extra bail, sum of 500,000 Singapore dollars, 374,000 US dollars in cash on top of his existing bail of 800,000 Singapore dollars. Apart from that, Iswaran was also required to provide his travel itinerary and overseas address to an investigating officer. As well as remain contactable by the investigating officer at all times. Iswaran was charged with multiple offences on January 18, months after a probe into him was made public. He pleaded not guilty to all 27 charges he was handed. Among the charges, two are of corruptly obtaining bribes from billionaire Ong Beng Sung, 24 of obtaining valuables as a public servant and one of obstructing justice. Mr Ong, who owns the rights to the Singapore Grand Prix, has not been charged. Iswaran was a key figure in the government's engagements with Formula One. He resigned as a minister and from the ruling People's Action Party in January. If convicted of obtaining a valuable thing as a public servant, Iswaran can be jailed for up to two years, fined, or both. If convicted of corruptly obtaining gratification under the Prevention of Corruption Act, he can be jailed for up to seven years. Fine up to 100,000 Singapore dollars, or both. If convicted of obstructing justice, he can be jailed for up to seven years, fined, or both.